And I know we're here to talk about Putin, and we're here to talk about this situation holding him accountable. And I don't want to get too partisan here, but our country should have been doing more sooner. We should have been listening to Zelensky. I've heard a whole lot of applause lately of Zelensky from my colleagues on the other side of the aisle. But where were we last July when he was asking for help with sanctions? Where were my colleagues on the other side of the aisle when my former boss and my friend, Senator Ted Cruz, forced a vote in the Senate on Nord Stream 2? MIA, partisan vote, we're not going to continue sanctions on Nord Stream 2. We're going to go along with Biden's decision to stop sanctions on Nord Stream 2. Well, what do you think happens when you allow Putin and Russia to have a complete control of the energy supply of Europe? What do you think is going to happen when you empower a thug and a dictator? What do you think is going to happen? And right now today, we have a complete refusal of my colleagues on the other side of the aisle, and frankly, too many colleagues on my side of the aisle, who refuse to say that we are today going to open up American energy, liquefied natural gas, oil, and produce it in this country to ensure that this man doesn't have the power to do what he's doing in Ukraine. How has a lawless authoritarian, authoritarian managed to regain his power? Well, I'll tell you, Europe made themselves completely dependent on Russian energy. And if you want a wake-up call and you want a warning shot in this country, Russia controls 40% of the EU's natural gas and 30% of its oil. Germany buys more gas from Russia than any other country. They chose this. They chose fracking bans. They chose to shut down energy freedom in Western Europe. They chose to pursue a political climate ideology over national security and common sense and energy for their citizenry. And now they're beholden to Russia. And now we've empowered Russia. This stuff matters. Wars have been fought over these kinds of things, and we just empowered an autocrat to roll over the people of Ukraine because we, because of the leadership of the Democrats on the other side of the aisle and the people in this White House, are pursuing climate ideology over national security. Climate ideology over energy freedom, climate ideology over affordable gas, and the ability for the American people to thrive while empowering the people of Ukraine instead of a thug like Putin. i got to be honest with you, I am sickened at what we're doing in this body. Instead of debating and voting here and having a serious discussion about how we should spend our assets to support Ukraine but be sensible about what we're doing in policies here, we're going to have a vote on banning Russian oil. What good does it do to ban Russian oil if you're going to go buy it from Venezuela or Iran? Why don't we produce it here in the United States? It's cleaner and it's better. We should be doing that right here. But instead, we're not going to do that.